Hey guys, it's Wraith. I'm back with Undertale. Where? I think at the end and everything's just so empty and... It feels like I'm playing off. It, it feels like I'm playing off. That old game that is similar to this kind of like RPG turn-based style puzzly cool characters weird story that's kind of sad and you get feels and wasn't as funny though wait a minute this little patch of leaves seems familiar this house seems fam to is this it's like the ruins like to oh. what does this say the way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the hallway. It's a golden flower. Toriel? A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. and put it on your phone's keychain. Oh, this music is feeling so hopeful. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. this. It's his best friends forever. <laughs> so many flowers. Flowey? Other music sounds happy. Room under renovations. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. And the hope was dashed, right? One. It's trophy number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs 98. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Is Asgore like Toriel's husband or father or... No. Asriel is Asgore's son and real and as Toriel knew about Asgore is Asgore Toriel's husband I mean we got these two keys so the garden wasn't that the garden out there do we have to go back down here somewhere or Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh gee willikers. There was another path to go um south over here. <laughs> I'm still kinda stuck in undying voice mode almost. Or hopeful voice mode. This just looks like the elevator that we were just in though. Wait, it is. What? the deal with this no wait we come we came out here and there's this the elevator is in use that's strange hmm also I hope Metaton is okay and Alphys is doing all right because she seemed kind of upset the last time we saw her and Un Dundine's house got burned down and Nah, she, she's hanging out with Papyrus. They're fine. Oh, wait, no. This needed the two keys over here. You unlock the chain. Okay. Oh. 
then, one day, the human became very ill. Oh no. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, wracked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The king fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Undyne? The, the shadow usually means undyne. I don't... I'm assuming the elevator is just the way to backtrack, right? Yeah. Sands? Is he not gonna let me go? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your very for your every action. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. What's experience? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. O. Oh. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. 
Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you... You, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore, and you go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. I'm gonna save and... Do... Do I even need to meet Asgore or can... Didn't Undyne say I could just talk? I mean... I... Everything the monsters know about the real world is just fabrications, lies. They think it's so amazing, but this is actually the amazing place. Humanity and Earth, the real world, are horrible, horrible places. This is the true utopia, and they don't even know it. I don't want to leave, and they shouldn't need or want to leave. This isn't what would be wanted. This... This isn't the way things should happen. What's this way? Is it just another... What? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Wraith? It's empty. Hm. The different humans that have come down here over the years? And I'm assuming they knew or know that I'm gonna die or they're gonna kill me, but there's hearts on them and they're different colors too. Which would signify just different souls, right? Asgore. Why aren't you in your throne? <laughs> Dum -de -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. 
When you are ready, come into the next room. It's a throne. It's another throne covered by a white sheet that's Toriel's. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Well, I guess that'll be the end of this part then. Thanks for watching guys, we're about to get to the end. If you liked it, leave a like or a comment. If you're feeling generous, subscribe. <laughs> Can't believe we're here. Something... It... Those can't be the only two choices. Those are th those have never been the only two choices in this whole game. I can just... I'll talk to Asgore and... <sighs> let him know what's what. And he'll let me know what's what. And Yeah. See you later, guys.